Which of these video game characters can hold their breath the longest? I'm gonna be drowning five people today and we're gonna see which one has the best lungs. The five contestants on the show this time are as follows. Stormtrooper from Star Wars Battlefront 2, V from Cyberpunk 2077, Link from Zelda Twilight Princess, Hat Kid from A Hat in Time, that's a fun one, and Mario from Super Mario Galaxy. Let's get this competition started. Contestant number one, let's drown Stormtrooper. Okay, hello, this is the Stormtrooper. It's his turn to be drowned. He's rip roaring, he's ready to go. Fully trained by the Empire for this mission. And unlike last time, we're gonna let the timer roll the whole time. I'm not gonna edit it. So if you wanna play along and hold your breath to see, uh, you're certainly welcome, but I'm not liable for any brain damage. Okay, here we go, Stormtrooper, and go. See how he's doing. All right, so he's immediately taking damage, which is unusual. There's no drowning uh, timer separate from the health. It's just the health itself. And, and he's dead. A pitiful 16 seconds for the stormtrooper. Jesus, that's embarrassing. Uh, it's really embarrassing for the Empire. Uh, but we're gonna see if we can. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure you can't change teams in the middle of a mission unfortunately so we're gonna back out and then we're gonna try one of the rebels just to see if there's any difference all right it's time for the rebel alliance to step up to the plate do you truly believe in your cause soldier if so oops i take that as a yes in three two one time to drown so far it's looking exactly the same as the stormtrooper same uh same pace of health loss same time that it started 13 seconds, and he's dead. Yeah, right on the mark, 16 seconds. So that's a that's a Battlefront 2 universal, uh, most likely. But there is one more thing I wanna check. We all know that droids don't have to breathe, so a breath-holding competition doesn't really make sense. It's an unfair advantage, you know? It's like uh, steroids or something, or it would be like putting a bear in the wrestling Olympics. If there's any difference at all, we're gonna try this guy out for size. This is a super battle droid for the Confederate, Confederation of Independent Systems. Okay, don't worry if you don't know what that means. Here we go. Timer starts. Mm, it's looking almost exactly the same, which is interesting again, because uh, if my memory serves, the droids don't drown in the first battlefront. So I guess they wanted to balance it. Uh, but again, yeah, almost exactly 16 seconds. In the interest of balancing, I guess you could argue that maybe like the water is corroding their joints or something weird and then they just explode, I don't know. I think they should be immune. I don't think games need to be balanced, but that's just me. Look at this nice, look at this nice cloth. Ah, so nice. I'd have that hanging up in my room. All right, so Star Wars Battlefront's uh, characters all have a 16 second drowning time, which is uh, pretty abysmal. Pretty abysmal indeed. I think that's worse than Steve from Minecraft. That was embarrassing. That was embarrassing. I mean, it should come no surprise to as no, excuse me. Oh, well, who's next? Ah, yes. Next up, we got a great contestant for you. It's time to go to Night City. Let's drown V, the cyberpunk man. Okay, here we are in Night City. This is the character V. Let me show you, I'll show you my V so you can see he looks insane. So for this particular experiment, all we're looking for is the time it takes my V to run out of breath because I've upgraded my health a whole bunch. This is an end game character. So we'll be taking the time it takes for V to run out of breath. And then we're gonna take half of the time it takes for me to die. It's a sort of approximate kind of a roughly where the average uh, V would be. Does that make sense? Okay, great, here we go. We're going in the water. And as soon as we hit, we'll start the timer. And we're in. Now the funny thing about this is there there is actually a perk in Cyberpunk, or there was, that was, it allowed you to breathe underwater forever, and they put this perk in, uh, not realizing that there was absolutely nothing to do in the entire game underwater. So then of course they took that perk out, but, or maybe they didn't take it out, they just, I don't know, fixed it in some way, but there's no reason to go underwater in this game. There's no objectives, there's no missions, there's nothing. Well, I say no reason, but you, there's a couple of reasons. Number one, how long does it take me to drown? That's a good reason. Uh, number two, you just wanna experience the weird vibes. 
You know, sometimes you'll go underwater in cyberpunk and you'll find some really weird like garbage fields. So that's fun. But we're coming up on me running out of breath. So like I said, we're gonna take this and then we're gonna take half of the, my health. So when we get down to about 250, that's when we're gonna count it, which is right there. Perfect. And then because of all my upgrades, it takes me a lot longer to actually die. There we go. Not actually that much longer though. It's really a difference between a minute and five seconds and like maybe a minute and 10. But we're gonna put this down as a minute and five seconds. That's right, a respectable 65 seconds for uh, Mr. Cyberpunk. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Pretty nice work, V. Even if, you know, we had to do a little ma bit of math. Uh, okay, next up. Oh my goodness, we're very excited about this one. Next up, we're gonna be looking at Link from The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Uh, last time, we did Link from Ocarina of Time. And just for your reference, if you didn't see that video, Link from Ocarina of Time had a lung capacity of 96 seconds. So that's the number to beat for Twilight Princess Link. Let's see if he can do it. Let's drown Link from Twilight Princess. Okay, welcome to Lake Hylia, welcome to daytime, welcome to Link. Link here is gonna drown and he's happy about it, he's thrilled. Uh, just for reference, we calculated Ocarina of Time Link's uh, drowning time. It was a little bit interesting because it's tied to the number of hearts he has. So I'm very curious if that is true uh, with Twilight Princess as well. Uh, but we will figure that out uh, shortly. To start, we just have to drown the poor man. So we're gonna do that right now. Are you ready? Set. Go. Timer starts. It's going down pretty fast. Uh, if it is tied to his hearts, it's not, it's not doing him that much good. Oh my goodness. This is not good at all. Link, this is terrible. Is he gonna start taking damage? No, he just straight up drowns at 21 seconds. Link, my man. That is pretty rough. Um, we're, I'm, I have three hearts now, so we're gonna try it now and see if it changes anything. Some tells me it probably won't. But let's see, ready, set, go. Uh, nah, it doesn't look like it. It looks like it's going to be exactly the same amount. Wow, 21 seconds. How is that so bad? There's always the slight possibility that it's tied to like total number of heart containers, you know, something like that. I don't know if I have a very easy way to test that at this juncture. Uh, how many how many heart containers do I have? All right, I do have four. So if I can find just one more piece of heart, we can at least test that. Hold on, let me look. And we did it. Congratulations. Nice work. Uh, we've got one more heart container now just to see if that's an aspect of Twilight Princess, which I don't think it is based on what we've seen, but it could be. Previously with nine heart containers, we could hold our breath for 21 seconds. So we're probably looking for around 23 if there's any kind of math. Ready, set, go. See how he does. The bar is coming down. The man is holding his breath. It is looking almost identical. Yeah. I believe 16, 21 seconds, same deal. All right, well, Twilight Princess Lungs has tiny smoker lungs, or sorry, Twilight Princess Link has tiny smoker lungs. Twilight Princess Link needs supplemental oxygen. I mean, that's surprising because you, you expect some sort of um, cohesion, you know? We'll talk more about this later, let's just move on. Our next contestant uh, is technically too young to be uh, part of this competition, but she lied about her age on the admissions form and the uh, medical examiner just let it slide. So it's time to drown a child. It's time to get demonetized for just what I just said. Ah, well. Let's drown Hat Kid. Okay, welcome to A Hat in Time. This is a character named Hat Kid. If you've never heard of this game, it's definitely the least popular of the games we've done so far, but you know, we gotta start sprinkling these in. This is a scientific exercise. I wanna know which game character holds her breath the longest. Now with Hat Kid, unfortunately she, when she swims normally, she doesn't go below the water. Uh, so kind of like in the, the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, it's more of a stamina timer. However, there is a way to put Hat Kid under the water and make this a proper breath holding competition. And the way to do that is to leap from a high ledge and then keep swimming. And if you keep swimming after you've gone under the water, Hat Kid will stay and we can measure 
our uh, breath holding. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. Here we go in three, two, one. Start the timer. And again, we just have to keep swimming. If we stop swimming, Hat Kid will come up for air. And we don't want that. At some point, oh, there it is. Timer begins. Not looking good for you, Hat Kid. As soon as she dies, timer stopped. 22 seconds. Ah, yeah, pathetic. I understand you're a child and children have tiny lungs. You know, I guess it's not really a fair comparison, but that's what we're here to do. 22 seconds for Hat Kid. Nice try, nice try. What, why, why do games have such bad lungs? That's terrible, 20, what is that, 22 seconds? That's horrible. What is it with these games and their crappy lungs? Twilight Princess, Hat Kid, it's pathetic. That said, we've got one more contestant for you today. We're coming back to the home base, to the guy that we started it all with. It's time to drown Mario. Again, just like with Link, if you didn't see the first one, uh, Super Mario 64's Mario had a 64 second lung capacity, which is amusing because the game is called 64. Will Mario from Mario Galaxy have better or worse lung capacity than that? It's time for the final showdown. Let's drown Mario from Mario Galaxy. All right, Mario, we're back. It's the moment of truth, buddy. You did pretty well. Last time we did this, if I recall correctly. Put your predictions down below. Will Mario Galaxy Mario beat Mario 64 Mario? And we'll start the timer as soon as I hit the dive button. Are you ready? Three, two, one, dive. That's not the dive button. What's the dive button? That's the shooting button. Three, two, one, go. The timer has begun. And it's going down mighty slow. This is looking very good for Mario. Oh, look at this fish. Let's go take a look at those fish. Pretty nice looking fish. Beautiful eyes. They have individual scales, which they didn't have in uh, as much in Mario 64. They were just a couple of little pieces of paper taped together in Mario 64. These are almost full blown fish. Good for them. It's interesting, here's something I didn't notice. Every time I move the stick, Mario puffs up his cheeks. His cheeks are not puffed, and then they puff every time I move the stick. Isn't that fun? All right, we're at 45 seconds. Are you still holding your breath? I'm not, because I have to talk. If I don't talk, this video is boring. And we are getting, man, we're getting dangerously close to the exact amount of time that it was in Mario 64. No way. Not quite. Come on, a little bit more? He's not quite dead, he's not quite dead. And that's it. One minute and 10 seconds. That's a nice 70 seconds. However, the initial countdown, I think was almost exactly what it was in Mario 64, which is 64 seconds. And obviously in Mario 64, as soon as the timer runs out, that's also Mario's health. Uh, so it, uh, you know, he instantly dies. Whereas in this, he gets a little bit of a, a buffer before his health actually runs out, which which helps push him ahead. Uh, but that's fun. Mario, you continue, your lungs continue to impress and amaze. That wraps us up for today's drowning competition. The results are as follows. Drum roll, please. In fifth place, Stormtrooper from Star Wars Battlefront 2. In fourth place, Link from Twilight Princess. Third place goes to Hat Kid. Second place, V from Cyberpunk 2077, and our number one breath holder of all time for today's competition is Mario from Super Mario Galaxy. Congratulations, Mario, you Italian bastard. Can I say that? He is Italian, and he's a bastard, so I guess it's fine. If you wanna know how our five contestants today stack up, here is our list uh, of everyone so far. Three of our contestants today had worse times than anyone last time. Uh, and nobody managed to dethrone Ocarina of Time Link with 96 seconds. So there must be more game characters who can compete with Link from Ocarina of Time. There must be more game characters who have worse lungs than uh, Stormtrooper from Battlefront 2. If you know those, post them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please post a comment saying, hey, I liked this video. That helps me a lot to make things that you want to see. Because you know what, listen, I'm here to serve. 
you. If you want to be here to surf me, hit me up on Patreon. That's patreon.com slash any underscore Austin for $3 a month. You get access to a regularly scheduled Patreon check-in video series where I answer your questions. And the number one thing you can do to help me out is to immediately watch another one of my videos after this one. If you're looking to procrastinate, that's a great way to help me with the algorithm. Just watch two in a row, three if you're feeling generous, if you want to waste more time. The algorithm loves when you stay on YouTube. And if my videos keep you here, they're going to be just thrilled. Okay, that's it. We got merch. We got social media. I've only got one more thing to say to you. In my free time, I make a lot of music. It's my favorite hobby, and I use that music in all of my YouTube videos. So today, please enjoy the song. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Night City, uh, one of my favorite cities in a game. It's too bad about all that other stuff. We're going to be estimating the unemployment rate of Night City. Just kidding. We're not going to do that. That would be insane. <laughs>